you know there was a king and one of his ministers owed some money to the king so the king called the minister saying sir it's long overdue pay me my money minister said i do not have the money sir king says okay then we'll put you in the jail and we'll torture you and we'll torture you till the time till till the time till when we not able to recover the money so the minister pleads cries you know he he falls at the feet of the king saying that sir please forgive me i am not able to arrange this money can you forgo can you forgo this debt in hindi they say kya aap mera qarz maaf kar sakte ho i'm not able to pay you back can you forgo this debt king takes pity on the minister and he says all right i forgive you go do not worry you know our accounts are settled don't pay back it's okay i forgo i i forgave this money you know i let's forget about this debt so the minister is very happy he goes back home he also has a few servants <laughs> the servants also he, he the servants also has borrowed some money from the minister so minister calls his servants now and asks them to pay back the dues and the servant says sir we don't have the money to pay back and minister takes a stick and starts to beat the servants because they are not able to pay him next day the servants go back to the king and say sir the minister has beaten us up badly because we borrowed some money from him and we not able to pay back the money because our fields did not produce the right amount of grain this year king calls the minister and tells him i forgave you and i allowed you and I, we settled the account i asked you not to pay me the money and i expect you to do the same with your debtors but you're not doing the same to them so i put you back into the jail so the minister puts so the king puts the minister back into the jail for torture that's the parable do you understand what the what the parable what the story is trying to tell do you follow what the jesus what the message jesus is trying to give us very profound and very simple simple yet extremely profound and i want you to reflect back again in your own life the story is telling us and jesus is telling us you will get what you give nothing else law of life is extremely simple if you do not forgive your servants who borrowed money from you and were not able to were not able to pay back then your debt will also be standing and you will have to arrange for it then your king will also not forgive you will not settle accounts unless you pay back do you follow this is the law of life we are all wanting and expecting to be loved by others <laughs> right or wrong we're all wanting to be accepted by others we're all wanting to be respected by others we're all wanting to be trusted by others we're all wanting positive vibe from others hello we all want positive vibe from others are we giving all of this back to people to our family to our friends to our acquaintances to people on the road to the trees to the animals to the plants to the water to the air to the earth are we are we respecting each other are we loving people are we trusting people are we accepting are we embracing the diversity or are we not because if we are not then this is what we will not get in return you will only get what you give i want you to take 30 second pause here reflect back are you really giving this positive energy this positive vibe to people to the world around are you creating this world a more happy place by your presence here 
Are you creating this world as a more beautiful place by your presence here? If you're not, then don't expect this in return. Is your vani, is your, are, are your words that you utter from your mouth, are they pleasing and healing to others? Are they the words which are uplifting the others or lives around you? Are your words, is your speech uplifting the life around you? Or is the speech full of hatred and jealousy and comparisons and anguish and suffering? Think about it. If your speech is not uplifting the world around you, then you too will not be uplifted, my friends. If the speech around you is not making the world beautiful, then your own life will not be made beautiful by the existence. If your speech is not spreading and sowing the seeds of love, then the garden of your own heart will also become a desert. That's the law. This is what Jesus is saying. And this is a law which we've all experimented and experienced. This is not a new law. But the problem is our remembrance. We forget about this. We don't remember this law. Because if we remember this law, we will start to mend our life. We'll start to mend our speech. We'll, we'll start to mend our actions. We'll also start to mend our silence. Our silence will also become very uplifting, very loving, very positive, very healing. Mm -hmm.